Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is um, the stairs and you're working very, very hard on your career. You're very, very focused on it and it's a long, hard climb and you're struggling a little bit there. Uh, but you need to take it one step at a time. It looks like there's somebody there in the background giving you a helping hand, giving you a little bit of a push, giving you some encouragement there. But you can see uh, it's going to be, you know, a, a lot of hard work will need to be put in a lot of effort to get to the top there. You've got the Harley Quinn card over here. So this is about uh, using your creativity and all your experience and all your knowledge and, uh, you know, doing things very uniquely. And this is going to be the thing that uh, allows you to move forward uh, as far as your career goes. So uh, the card crowning is the masquerade card. Just be careful about people around you that are not being very supportive. Uh, you know, people pretending to be friendly with you and are not looking out for your best interests. So it's best to keep, uh, you know, all your sensitive information to yourself and di not divulge your plans to people because they are going to be hindrances. Uh, you know, they might steal ideas from you. So just be aware of that. Now, in the past, you've got the, uh, the riding card. So things have started to move forward for you uh, and you're getting a lot more freedom in your work itself. And it seems like, you know, you are producing uh, abundance there because there's the desert and there's this oasis and there's a lot of greenery. So whatever you're doing is taking root. It's growing and, it, you know, it's something that people are starting to admire as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the shouting card. You are very frustrated. It seems in this card, maybe not getting your way or not getting... Thing to, uh, things to go your way you're very stressed out with this card and you're bottling it up a little bit so there is a need for you to release that tension that anxiety you've got the ship card over there so this might be uh, that you need to take a little bit of a holiday a little bit of a break but it also could be that there is some travel that is coming in on the work front over there so there's some movement going on over there some traveling coming there with that ship some overseas travel so those are the energies for that week I'm going to use the Fae cards for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. So you've got um, the Seer card. This is the um, High Priestess card. So some study coming in for you there. This is also a card about, you know, keeping secrets to yourself, keeping things to yourself. Don't go around divulging information to people. Uh, but you need to spend some time with books. You need to get, uh, you know, your skill set up to date as well. So you might be taking some exams soon. Uh, there is a need for you to focus on that. You've got the Strength card over there. So you're going to be able to conquer things. You can see this dragon is pretty much tied up over there so all these problems that you're dealing with you're going to be able to get a handle over it uh you also are leaving behind something that was very um you know emotionally upsetting for you uh you know you're ending up situations uh you know you focused a lot on it for a long time but it looks like you're walking away from a difficult situation you're sorting problems out and, uh, you know, there's a need for you to study. There's a need for you to get up to date. There's also a need for you to use your intuition as well. Use your experience when you're dealing with situations. You've got what you've got the knowledge. The high priestess is the keeper of the keys of knowledge. So you do have what it takes to sort out these problems. You just have to have that confidence and keep your secrets to yourself as well. You know, don't hand out information about yourself easily. There's a choice coming up over the, uh, for you, and it's a choice about work. So there's some projects um, that are coming in for you there. You need to make a decision, and whatever you decide, uh, whatever you take on, you need to focus on it, put some hard effort in it, and it will grow and produce abundance. Uh, there might also be some travel coming up as well with that Three of Wands, uh, but you, you can see golden flowers are coming out of this uh, particular seed. So whatever you put your hand to, whatever you put your effort in, is going to be very, very productive and it's going to produce the money. Um, so in the past, you've got um, the Five of Pentacles going through a lot of financial problems, feeling very isolated, unsupported, uh, very, very lonely. 
um, and also very, very, uh, you know, this could have even been health issues that you were dealing with. There's a lack of security in this card. Um, so, you know, maybe you haven't gotten the support. It looks like there's a new job that has come in for you over there. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. So something, ha after going through a, a period of uh, financial problems, it looks like money has come in for you there with that Queen of Pentacles. It looks like that position that you have gives you a little bit of authority, but it also brings the money. And it's a job that has, uh, it's about managing people, being organized. It seems like you're working pretty hard at that at the moment. And it is going to grow and it is going to be producing a lot of abundance as well. On your mind, you've got the Knight of Chalices over there. So you might be thinking of doing some further study or you might be involved in further study to improve your skill set over there. Uh, you might be even considering taking up a new offer of uh, a new job over there. So you might be looking into other as uh, arenas, other fields of, of uh, work. Uh, like I said, you could be thinking of doing some further study or further training as well. It seems like you will be doing that. You are considering it and it looks like you are going to be doing that. So you are focused on that. Now going to the future, you've got the Knight of Swords. There's some kind of legal issue that you have to deal with or some kind of message that comes in quite quickly for you. It's a bit upsetting whatever comes in over here. And it's maybe it's you're dealing with somebody that's giving you a lot of grief. Uh, but this message or whatever it is comes in pretty quickly for you. And you have to act pretty uh, quickly on it and be very logical when you do things. Uh, it's going to disturb your balance a little bit over there. Uh, but if you use your logic and don't get very, very emotionally upset about it, you'll be able to sort things out. It's a, got a very red background over there. So it might make you a bit angry, whatever this news is. It might be a bit of upsetting. There might be some criticism as well that upsets you um, on that work front there. You're feeling very, very stuck within this position. Maybe whatever it is, whatever this issue is. So this could be legal news that comes in. It keeps you very stuck in this position. Maybe you're thinking of leaving this job, uh, you know, as well. Or there's something within the job that has got you very tied up. You can see this very um, wings are bound. Uh, you know, she's not able to speak a truth. So something there is causing you to feel very restricted um, within that particular job that you're doing. And maybe there's some drama that comes in as well and you're not able to act or you're not able to defend yourself. Uh, somebody is, um, you know, uh, giving you uh, a bit of a hard time and you're not able to defend yourself. Your hands are tied. You've got the King of Pentacles over there. So you might be even considering a new job. There could be a promotion coming in for you over there or you might be even considering a new job or, uh, you know, going for a new... This could be a new job offer coming coming in. Now, you could be going through some legal issues where money is coming in, so a payout coming in as well over there. So this uh, Knight of Swords might be, um, uh, you know, a legal issue being sorted out and you get a payoff from whatever that legal situation was. So you may have... Um, you know, in the past, uh, gone through some kind of court case or some kind of legal um, justice system, and this is the decision, and and there is a payoff that comes in with that. For the moment, you are still feeling very tied up. Maybe that legal situation hasn't sorted itself out, but if it sorts itself out, it looks like there is money that's going to come in with that. Now, you are working on yourself. You are trying to improve your status in life, and you are um, you know making plans for the future as well. There, with that Empress card. Now, going into the future, you've got uh, the King of Cups over there, uh, the Hanged Man and the Sun. So uh, the King of Cups is, it looks like there's some kind of brand new offer that comes in for you, a really good one as well. Um, you know, whoever this person is, it's going, he's, going, he's offering you something there. You might even be deciding to do some kind of job where it involves teaching or even giving off your experience to others as well with that King of Cups. You're feeling very stuck as though things are not moving here with that Hanged Man. Uh, there is a need for you to look at things from a very, very different perspective as well. Uh, but it looks uh, like, you know, you might be feeling a little overwhelmed as well, feeling a, a bit emotional as well. There are people around you that are going to give you advice and support as well to get you out of this situation. And you've got the sun coming in over there. So things are going to work out in a positive way and it's going to start moving pretty quickly as well because the sun doesn't let things hang about. So, um, you know, this is um, something that you're going to uh, get good news about. Uh, so whatever this new job is, whatever this new offer is, even though it's things are feeling stuck, it looks like there's going to be a positive outcome. The sun is a very positive card and it brings in that energy of movement. It brings in the energy of light um, and it brings in the energy of clarity for you. So things are going to start moving and there is going to be an, a happy outcome. That sun shows a happy outcome. It looks like whatever that legal situation is, there's going to be some kind of payoff that comes in. And whatever you set your mind to, whatever you put your hand, hand to, 
um, you know, you are going to get um, growth coming in from there. So, you know, stop feeling tied up. Uh, think yourself out of the situation. Gemini is a very clever sign, and you are able to use your noodle pretty well. And so you can think yourself out of the situation. Now, the first card is the balance card, which is the temperance card, a need for balance and moderation, corpora uh, cooperation and compromise, and wait for perfect timing. So somebody around you might be giving you some advice, which you need to listen to. There's also a need for you to employ all the skills that you have learnt um, and keep yourself emotionally balanced. Don't go over the top about anything. Don't let anything get under your skin. You've got the Ace of Air. This is a victory card. So bring new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning. So you have been going through a lot of problems. But there is victory for you. If there's a legal issue that you're sorting through, this is a victory card for that. So you will get a positive outcome. And it's going to go in your favor. The Eight of Water shows you walking away from a difficult situation. And uh, maybe you're searching for something more meaningful in your life. So you're leaving behind this past situation. Um, you had um, the Eight of Cups here as well. So you're leaving behind a very difficult situation. Leaving behind that emotional ties that you had. And, you know, going off on a different path. Uh, so you are making a, a, a start in a new direction. And I think this new direction is going to be much more fulfilling for you. Um, something that you uh, will bring you a lot more happiness because you've got the sun card over there. So whatever you're going through, although this eight of water looks like they're walking into the dark, it looks like you're walking into the sunlight. So although you've been going through a dark period in your life, uh, it looks like the sun is coming out for you and uh, things are going to change for the positive. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.